Hey, what's up, guys? This is Emily here. Today, I'm going to talk about the unreleased and canceled games for the new one. I don't know. It was a console that was developed by VM Labs. It basically lets you play enhanced movies and video games. So it's very cool. It's a hybrid, but it didn't sell very good. Basically, this is the first episode where I use Wikipedia as a source as well because, well, Wikipedia knows a lot. Mm -hmm. Basically, there were games and enhanced movies that were going to be released. The new one was first sold in early 2000 and was discontinued in 2003. Some of the canceled games include a new one port of Bust a Move 4. The status of these are partially found. And the financial failure was caused by so many things like the dot-com bubble burst, competition with the PS2, Xbox, and GameCube, and the Dreamcast, and simply running out of money due to low returns on licensing ruined the company, and VM Labs went bankrupt. And it was bought out by Genesis Microchip. The one existing unreleased Nuon prototype that exists is the aforementioned Bust a Move 4, which is held by a member of the Nuon Dome fan site. A user received the game in 2001 to help with play testing from VM Labs and claimed the game is 100% complete and working, though this two player mode causes performance issues. However, the current holder does not want to release his prototype to the public. Makes sense. You don't want to release a prototype to the public. While info on the new end games is elusive, more info is known on the movies. There were going to be unreleased new and enhanced editions of Galaxy Quest, uh, Stigmata, The Toxic Avenger Part 3. <laughs> what? That's not, I don't think that's even for kids. Galaxy Quest, I don't, I, that's like a... PG-13 tribute to Star Trek. Uh, a prototype of the new on enhanced version of Galaxy Quest was featured in the VM Labs booth at CES 2001. According to a reporter, Dexter Davenport, nice name, this prototype contained a feature that could show all the best lines from the movie. Basically, you could get an overview of the movie from different perspectives. Allegedly, also, a new one enhanced movie prototype disc for both Galaxy Quest and Sigmata appeared on an EA Bay auction. According to Nuon Dome, the auction was a former employee at VM Labs and was taken down because the contents were considered stolen property. The contents were then destroyed. All that remains are two images of the prototype discs. Disappointing. No known prototype disc of the Toxic Avenger has surfaced, and the only evidence is discussions from the 2001 Chiller Theater Expo. The Tox box, a box set containing part 1, 2, and 3, was intended to have a fourth disc that contained new and enhanced features. The Toxic Avengers part 3 was also supposed to have new and enhanced features. The Tox box was released in 2002, but no present new and enhanced features were there. It is not known why they were cut, though the Tox box was also stated for a 2001 summer release at the time of the expo. So, here's the current status. It is unknown if Toxic Avenger 3, Atari's greatest hits, Battleship Thurfist Thunder, Boggle, Dragon's Lair, Dragon's Lair 2, Hail Card Games, Jeopardy, Knockout Kings, Madam NFL, Football, Need for Speed 3, New Scrabble, New on Board Games, New on Casino, New on RC Racing, Piffle the Main Adventure, Pog, Power Excavator, RCD Go, Risk 2, Riven, Shanghai, Majong Essentials, Sorry, Spider-Man, Star Trek Invasion, Wheel of Fortune, Tiger Woods, PGA Volk, and Yahtzee are known to exist. They probably don't. Everything else, all of these others, um, are known to exist. And the only one that's found so far is, again, Bust a Move 4. Yeah. Not to be confused with the rhythm game on the PlayStation. Uh, it's known as Bust a Move in Europe. It's known as Bust a Groove over here. Uh, and here's more. There's, uh, there's some other stuff. There's some videos of Bust a Move 4 and some videos of a mage courtesy of Kevin Buffalo for all the videos there's also <sighs> Monopoly on the new one 
And then there's also alleged prototype discs for like Sigmata and Galaxy Quest. Okay, that was an interesting episode. I think it's kind of cool, like what, I mean surprised why they put Galaxy Quest and the the Toxic Adventure. I don't think those, I'm pretty sure those movies aren't even for kids, like the Toxic Adventure. I heard that was rated R, but it has a kids TV show. Um, it's a cartoon that like ran in the 90s. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye!